Hey guys, Perugia here. In this video, we're going to talk about wireframes and wireflows. So essentially, whenever you're starting a new design project, the very first thing that you want to understand is the client's needs, goals, and potentially even the pain points that he wants to avoid, or that the current solution that you're redesigning needs to solve. So at the beginning, you would usually start with uh, a design brief. And uh, if you're, say, you're creating a website or a web app or even a mobile app, you want to have a high level picture of uh, what are the flow and what are the screens that are, are going to be involved in this project. So something around these lines, which is usually referred to as a wireflow or information architecture, it's going to really help uh, you to understand the bigger picture even before you create uh, your very first uh, wireframe. So essentially here you might have something around the lines of uh, a onboarding uh, set of screens uh, which is going to redirect it to the main uh, home screen and the home screen is going to redirect to the other main screens and so on and this can be as simple or as complex as uh, the project requires and usually once you have this high level view you're going to understand essentially what the screens are needed in the project and the very next stage is to actually create the wireframes and what the wireframes are is uh, essentially we have like two types of wireframes. And by the way, I'm using uh, the Where's Your Flow and also the Tiny Frames uh, in this example, which uh, you can find on UI8. I'm going to leave the link in the description to both of these uh, really cool uh, wireframe and wireflow kits. Uh, that being said, uh, the very next stage, uh, once you have uh, the high level view, is to actually create the wireframe. And there's essentially two ways that you can create them. I'd, the first one is a low fidelity wireframe. So something around this line can work really well if you just want to mock up some ideas really quick that can give you a high level perspective as to what the screen is going to look like. So say that we're creating something around these lines for a home page. I can understand that here's going to be the logo, here's going to be the main navigation, a call to action, and here we're going to have the main header, sub headline, um, button which is going to be another call to action and then maybe a footer image and you can mock up like an entire screen like this uh, so you can literally like uh, enlarge it uh, and then uh, you know go ahead and create like the entire screen and this style is good if you don't have content for example or if you just want to explore a few different ideas in a fast uh, and efficient way and you don't want to go into the details. So this is really good if you want to show some ideas to the client uh, even before you go into the nitty gritty of uh, the wireframe. Now, once you are at uh, the next stage, and by the way, this is not uh, a compulsory stage, this is an optional. It really depends on the project and what makes sense for that specific project. But that being said, one of the most common wireframes that you're going to see is something more around these lines where not only you have a high level picture, but you also have some content and uh, some basic idea of uh, what the screen uh, content and uh, the elements are going to look like. So this is almost a hybrid between a wireframe and uh, the UI design, but usually the UI design is going to be the next stage. And uh, that is where you essentially finalize everything and uh, you, po you put uh, all the uh, typography in place, the colors, you refine all the design and uh, it's going to be essentially production ready so that the developers can start getting their hands onto it. So this is uh, pretty much it when it comes to the high level. Of course, there's many more variables and uh, uh, elements in place. But one thing that I highly recommend you to consider is uh, whether you need uh, a wireflow or a simple uh, wireframe or something more complex because you actually have the option between going high fidelity or low fidelity and uh, there isn't really a right or wrong way. And uh, one of the things that uh, I notice, uh, especially with uh, my students who are first starting out, uh, is that they think that they need to figure out everything from the very first wireframe. But sometimes an approach like this can save a lot of time and uh, be way more efficient than actually going into the nitty gritty details 
right away. And you can also create uh, a hybrid solution in between. So I hope this video was helpful. And uh, before we leave, I want to remind you that I recently launched this uh, course on how to get started in UI UX design. And it's completely for free. And uh, um, in this course, I'm essentially sharing my experience of over eight years being a UI UX designer and uh, also the free source files which I have uh, from the Figma and uh, Sketch and Adobe XD tutorials. So feel free to check it out if you're interested in some freebies and I'll see you in the next video.